Hi guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel, hope you're doing well. Today I'll show you 5 tips from my color grading process, both for my personal and for professional work. The color grading process is really based on preference, there's no right and wrong so it's really up to you how you color grade. But I wanted to tell you guys my way of color grading and for reference I'm usually color grading S-Log3 footage and D-Log M footage from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And personally I've been really fond of the vibrant orangey warm look and I'll show you guys how to achieve it as well. So Today I'm color grading on DaVinci Resolve and if you're using the Osmo Pocket 3 I'll type the settings up here to make sure you have the right settings. And yeah with all that said let's hop into DaVinci. So we're in DaVinci the editing software. So I'll be covering how I edit really fast, uh, my power grade, how I use HSVs, how I create a very sunny warm look and how I add contrast to my images. Okay so first of all I'm creating a power grade which is a saved look so it's a pre knit mode map so i usually start with nine nodes and i'll just create it right away and just create nine nodes uh, of course give them a name such as what i've been doing here and i'm going to walk you guys through how to use these nodes so let's just start so once you have all the nodes in place i'll show you guys how to use everything so for the white balance or we can start with exposure just make sure you're in the hdr wheels and then drag either drag or drag down your exposure in my case, I want to make the image less bright, so I'll just drag it a bit down. And for the white balance, just adjust it very subtly inside the primary wheels. So I'll just make it a little more warmish. So maybe 100 is fine. And if you're using the DJI Awesome Pocket, the trick here is to not use the conversion that, that DJI provides, but create your own color space transform. And I'll show you guys how to do it. And the reason is, the conversion that, that DJI provides is too contrasty and too dark, which I personally don't like. But again, I'll show you guys how I color grade. So in the effects, in the third node, just search for color space transform, drag it in. And then for input color space, we'll do DJI D gamut. The output color space will do Rec 709. And for the output gamma, we'll also do gamma 2.4. And this is making the image somewhat more normal. So next, what I usually like to do is to jump right into HSV to create the dense, vibrant look without completely ruining the image uh, compared to how we do it inside the primary wheels. To start, we will uncheck channel one and then uncheck channel two. And then inside the color space, we apply HSV. So uh, once the HSV is applied and everything is set up correctly, We'll go inside the gain and then just crank it up to whatever fits. Uh, so in my case, I'll do probably um, 1.4. And again, there's no right and wrong with color grading. Just do what fits you and what meets the eye. Yeah, and this is before applying the HSV and this is after applying the HSV. Very big differences. After this, I'll just apply a random LUT. So click on LUTs at the top and then just pick whatever LUT. I'll probably go with, uh, let me see, evening in this case. Uh, so everything looks very blown out right now. So I will tone it down by going into the this key and then just maybe personally, I like it to, I like to have it at 0 0.2 around here. It makes a very small difference, but it adds personality. Yeah, let's keep it that way. It adds personality. Moving on to the final node, everything is really out of order. So I'll show you guys how to make the image more warm. So without destroying the whole image. So this is a more smoother way of making the image warm. So just click on the last node. So the key here is to go to the curves instead of the primary wheels or the HDR. So uh, just click on the R. Very important that you're doing a single color at a time. So click on the red, just drag it down as well as the green, just drag it below the red and the blue even further down. So we're at somewhere around here. So this is the key on how to achieve a very smooth and warm picture. So I'll show you guys a before adding the warmth and this is after adding the warmth. So I'm gonna edit the shadows. Uh, again, the trick here is to use the curves. Curves will be your best friend and make sure everything is linked. So right now we see that blue is the only one selected. Just make sure everything is linked with the linked key and uh, just create a point somewhere around here and around here. Uh, and then just drag this one up 
to soften the shadows. I think this looks good. As well as the upper right one. Just drag it to your left to again make everything more put together. And this is how I do shadows instead of again using the wheels. Uh, and I'll show you guys a before adding the shadow node and after adding the shadow node. Huge differences. And then moving on to how I add my contrast. And no surprise, we're again using the curves instead of the wheels. So I'll just, often what I do, I'll just create a point somewhere around here and then either drag your point down to make the image more contrasty and rich. And if it's too rich and contrasty, just drag it up, but don't overdo it. Don't drag it too far up or too far down since it will overblow your image. So somewhere around here is nice. And again, as always, I'll show you guys a before adding the contrast node and after adding the contrast node. And if we have a video or image uh, somewhat similar to this one without having too much close up of without people being too close up in the image, uh, I usually just let the skin node uh, be on its own but let's say I want to edit like her make her more uh, darker in make her skin con make her skin tone more darker I'll just go to the color size and then adjust either her skin up or down to adjust her brightness as well as the saturation now she is more lighter toned as well as the other people around here so this one okay so obviously setting up nine nodes all the time for each clip will be tiring so this is my tip on how i color grade really really fast so remember the power grade i mentioned this time we'll save the still so we'll do it by right clicking the video and then grabbing still okay so once you've done that go to your gallery and you'll see that the still is created if we go to a random plane clip such as this one uh i'll just apply grade and then the still is applied so we still in the current image it's really oversaturated so i'll just tone down everything uh, especially the contrast i'll just uh, take the graph or the curve a little up as well as the exposure i'll tone down everything go on the hdr down on the exposure such as probably here uh, and the hsv i'll probably tone it down to maybe yeah 115 uh, so this is the final look and again for color grading there's no right and wrong so just do what fits you experiment but this was anyways my five tips on how to color grade and i hope this uh, video was helpful and if you want the let i've been using in this video or the whole power grade just dm me on ig and i'll send it to you guys for free and uh, yeah, just like the video, subscribe and stay tuned for more future similar content like this. Uh, and yeah, see you.